Hello and welcome back to Dane's Basement Food Review. Now today we have a little bit of some food. Got some stuff from Pan Express today. And it is the combo of orange chicken and fried rice. No? This looks pretty good. I'm gonna be honest here. Rice. Mm -hmm. All right, now, if you are new to the channel, we have four things that we judge here. The smell, the feel, the texture, and the taste. I'm gonna go in for that smell. Wait, which one are we smelling first though? Both. Duh. Okay, the rice doesn't really have much of a scent. It smell like rice. Orange chicken does not smell the it's orange. orange chicken. Eat, you know, the orange and an orange chicken. Doesn't smell oh. a whole ton like oh. that. <laughs> very, very strong scent. I don't know what that is though. Really get into that, just just like right over top of it. Yep. I did the first time, but I oh, that burns a little bit. All right, it clears the nostrils. How does this feel? Oh god, this part. All right, that rice. Feels pretty moist, I guess. It's, it's rice. You could have used any other word. You could have used any other word. He <laughs> <laughs> really could have. Um, All right, chicken. Uh, that, okay, that's nowhere near sticky as I thought it was gonna be. Saucy. It's because it's orange chicken. There's two kinds of people in this world. <laughs> Wipe on clothes. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Let's go in for the texture on the rice first. Okay. So the rice itself is very soft. It does have carrots and peas and some like green onion in it. That gives it a little bit more crunch. Pretty good texture. Now let you check. I gotcha. Chicken is very soft. It makes for good chicken. No, to go for taste. Wish they put more soy sauce in it. You don't get that like soy sauce taste like you usually do with fried rice. Oh, I did chicken. What? The chicken is very sweet oh. with a little bit of some uh, spice to it. And it makes for a good. It doesn't taste exactly like traditional orange chicken. But, pretty good. Now the rice. It tastes like rice. I don't know what you expected. I still would like more soy sauce. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty key component. And not put a whole lot. But... The vegetables are very good. Yeah. Considering that it's like a fast food type restaurant. You don't really get many fast food joints that use quality vegetables. <laughs> My god. Yeah, I would say this is pretty good. Hmm. There's one thing that always caps off a good meal at Panda Express, according to my boy Andrew here. That's me. Dropping your fortune in your orange chicken. And there's a very specific way you're supposed to open these. Oh. oh, it didn't explode open like it usually does. Well, usually that works really well. <laughs> Did 
kick through the rubble. Alright. I also don't really like fortune cookies, so... Go ahead. Cool. Okay. You'll be surprised by a close friend. Your happy secret will reach new and worthy ears. I knew it. Now, how crunchy is this boy? Uh, <laughs> I would eat it, but I don't like fortune cookies. Much crunch. That's why it's the best way to open them is to just crunch them up to Taste. unseeable pieces. Tastes kind of sweet. Feels really hard. I'm not horrible line, but alright. <laughs> it does not taste, or yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go straight out here and say uh, this. I'm going to give this a four and a half out of five Peters. The spices they use in the orange chicken makes it hurt the nose. If it wasn't for that, five. So, yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you are new, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell to be notified of every time that we go and upload a new video. I'm going to be honest, it's probably going to be a little bit before I have another upload on the channel. There's a lot going on with life, and it'll be very obvious in the next video what that is. But, um, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like. What he said. And, uh, yeah, see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.